Hey, what's going on guys? It's another episode of the Sustainable Hunting Company. We are actually gonna go do some scouting today here with Marcus. How's it going? Um, we're just gonna try out some new spots. We're not gonna really go where we've been. That's pointless. Uh, we'll just try to maybe throw out some tips to look for for early season scouting. Uh, and just kind of what to look for, especially like oak trees and all of that. So we'll get out there and we'll kind of explain what we're gonna do. That looks so real. Does it not? It looks like it's real. It's not moving. Guys, a little update here from our little scouting excursion. Uh, Ethan and I spent probably a couple hours back in here. Sweat our butts off a little bit, went through some jungle areas. But we found quite a bit of sign, quite a bit of bedding, um, some good potential uh, stand setup locations for this fall. Uh, more of the mid-season setup locations we found a little bit back further. And obviously here there's a lot of natural bedding CRP here so we did see some deer in the neighboring property over so that was always good but not uh, not a ton of buck sign but we didn't cover a ton of area because it's a pretty big spot in public so but uh, yeah found some good good sign good potential setups and another area scouted another one down to go a couple things to go over uh, that we found so it was, it looks like it's usually a pretty wet area in here, but it's really dry this summer. And we did find a couple oak island patches that we marked down. Um, we'll see if they actually produce any acorns. I don't know if they will. And I couldn't really tell, but there are options. Um, and some deer, nice little deer highway funnel points that we can set up on later in the season when it opens up in there because it's super thick. But like Mark said, um, there's a lot of options we have out here to kind of look at and basically you want to look for them pinch points, altitude changes, and then you also want to kind of look for where there's food sources, so oak trees, fields, um, all sorts of, I guess just kind of look for that type of stuff, terrain, terrain changes, and transition lines. So we kind of found all that out here and we'll see how this fall goes, we'll try to come out here a few times. I'm confident we'll get a doe out of here for sure. I mean, in the field we saw like six to eight of them. So, no bucks out in that field, so I don't know where they're at, but maybe we'll find some on our way out here driving. Whew. All right. So, with that, guys, we'll see you next time. A nice buck right there. So, there are big bucks out here. 